Hey, what's going on? This is Michael. I'm out here at a Poway Skate Park on a Thursday, something like August 22nd, 2017. Uh, I found this little gem a while back, but I wasn't really qualified, well, good enough to be able to roll it. But I had a buddy come down here from uh, Washington and kind of was like having skate camp for a week and we hit a bunch of skate parks. And after uh, some help with him, I love this place. It's got a uh, snake run on it. And if I get here early enough, I'll miss the uh, onslaught of uh, uh, scooters. This place is just a, uh, yeah, busy with scooters. Anyway, I've been uh, thinking about making a little video for a couple uh, weeks. And uh, if God doesn't put it in my heart, I just, uh, you know, I just wait. And my main purpose on the videos is not telling people how to live. It's really to uh, uh, encourage those that are, uh, you know, questioning uh, you know, Jesus Christ or wondering um, about what what's life with God without religion. And I'm one of those people. Um, I found a little church. It's called Grace, and it's pretty cool. The people are really about each other and starting to after a few years uh, uh, get to know them and uh, they don't have any agenda for me they just uh, accept me I kinda got hooked up through my my uh, my wife on that anyway let me get to my point today uh, everyone's got a story to tell and really um, it's, I want to have purpose on my story so today I want to share about how uh, what God's been doing in my life real briefly um, just to encourage uh, other maybe even other brothers and sisters in Christ. Well, anyway, long story short, uh, that's kind of like a cue to me to shut up and and get get on with the story. I went to Sea World with my granddaughter about a month ago, and uh, I got some. I didn't want to put my hands in those crazy, not crazy, but the fish tanks. Um, after uh, I don't know about 30 years in construction, landscaping, home repairs, I I can get a rash because my I've broke down the. Uh, the molecule structure in my hands. Anyway, I got this, this, not to get too personal, but I got a, got a freaking horrible rash on my back and uh, the doctor gave me some cream. Uh, it didn't work really well, so I went back to the doctor and they gave me another cream and, uh, you know, it kicked in and I was very blessed to be healed. Now here's the part of the story that's, that's interesting. Um, I've been doing a lot of construction, getting my, uh, the house um, I, I got married, and I think, in, yeah, not think, in December, um, beautiful lady, <laughs> and we had to combine two houses, and we decided to uh, rent her home out as a, as a boarding home, um, you know, just to have a, a couple of roommates in there, so I've done a lot of remodeling. So that leads me to the fact that, of course, it agitates this uh, crazy stuff called eczema, when you're old and you've been in working with uh, construction chemicals your whole life. I mean, yeah, things happen. Anyway, I tried using this cream that worked on my back and it just itched really bad and, and I wasn't feeling it. So, you know, I went on for weeks, for a few weeks, uh, kind of like just toughen it out. But here's the funny thing. I realized that uh, there's this one scripture in the Bible and it says, um, His divine power has given us all things that pertain to life and godliness. His divine power, through the knowledge of him which I have, who has him, God, called us to his glory and excellence, by which he has granted us these great and precious promises, so that through them we can become partakers of the divine nature, having escaped from the corruption that comes through evil desire. Anyway, translated to me, that's always meant that God can solve my problems. And for some reason, I, you know, not for some reason, I, when I need God, I need God. And sometimes I really recognize it, like when I'm getting sick and tired of my hands itching. So I just prayed, prayed and prayed, and, and I just had a piece about trying this cream that I didn't think worked. I was like, really? Am, am I going to try this cream? Uh, God, it doesn't work. I tried it. It doesn't work. It itches really bad. After 45 minutes, I want to scrub this stuff off, and it sucks. But I said, okay, just like I know that story in the Bible where that one warrior was told by the prophet to go and wash seven times in some river they didn't think much of, and it ends up one of his servants said, well, why not just try it? I mean, what do you got to lose? So remembering that story and, and uh, 
having somehow found this a piece that I couldn't really understand to just try this cream, I tried it. Well, it worked. Um, I've pretty much had been going to sleep with my hands under my pillows sometimes, this, that, and the other. Been really busy, so I wouldn't think about it. But uh, this cream that I got from the second doctor for a rash on my back um, worked. Now, I don't mean to go and divulge all this personal information about myself on the internet, but, you know, if it helps one other person, then it's it's worth it. So, first off, I was totally bummed about SeaWorld, but I go, you know, God uses all things for good to those who love Him. So, I thought to myself, I don't know why I have to have this stupid rash. Maybe it was from the shirt that someone gave me uh, for my, my ministry. It was a Jesus Rules ministry shirt, and it was the first time I wore it. Maybe it was that shirt. But all in all, it brought me to the doctor, which was kind of a hassle and kind of not what I like to do. But in the end, it gave me a cream that eventually, now I have a uh, solution. Because I went to do a physical the other day and the doctor gave me like six tubes of this stuff. Uh, but I don't use very much of it here and there. But anyway, the moral of, well moral, the, the truth that I'm revealing from my heart to anyone that would listen for a few minutes is, is uh, God is powerful. And uh, I'm so blessed to be in his word, in his Bible, and I don't really feel compelled to, to just throw out a bunch of scriptures because if, if you're talking and the person doesn't want to hear it, what's the point? And if they can't relate with what you're saying, what's the point? But sometimes, um, you know, through certain events, uh, I realize like, wow, you know, what can I share about my life that would encourage a brother or sister in Christ? And so the little story about uh, asking God for peace, I mean, not ask, asking for healing with my hands, um, came up with the solution that was right underneath my nose. But God wants to show me sometimes his power. And so uh, I always, I always turn to the Lord. And so really that's, I just wanted to share that little bit of story and uh, and I hope it blesses someone to just trust God. I, I mean, I came out here this morning thinking, Lord, uh, is there something you want me to, to put out, put forward that others would be blessed by? And that's what was put on my heart. Now, uh, leaving that, I'm also, this video will come up on my uh, YouTube channel. Um, just thank you for all the support I've been getting on that. It's uh, been an encouragement to continue to learn and to share uh, but uh, I've just been buried in putting two homes together and also uh, remodeling my house a little bit for the wife but I do have so much in the works and some good friends to put some videos together so um, that will be forthcoming um, I'm going I think I'm gonna do a, a little video on wheels I've tried like 30, 30 sets of wheels and gotten a lot of opinions from other skaters. So I think I'm going to do that first. That'll be easy. But what I'm really excited about is uh, there's a few people that longboard that I know that would want to be interested in a uh, skate park. And I have just got some really great uh, information to share. My friend from Washington who's been skating his whole life and has been, was an instructor at the YMCA for 15 years gave me some fundamentals. Um, these videos won't be for any seasoned uh, people, but for those that just want to get going, um, uh, it's. I think it'll be tools to give you confidence. I mean, that's what I feel like. My friend just filled up my toolbox of uh, going, of things I can pull out when I go to the skate park. And really, um, without I mean, I'm going to be I'm I'm going to be 59 this year, and really, like about a year and a half ago, I showed up at a skate park because I, I don't know why, but something was pulling me to go there, and something I always wanted to do, but I just didn't have the I just didn't have it. I don't I don't surf, my wheels my life's been on two wheels, and I went to the skate park and and I went home with all my pads on and everything, I, and I told God I can't do this, I can't do this, I can't do this. This is this is just not me. Anyway, here I am, a year and a half later. Um, I'm out here at Poway, a um, nice place to learn uh, front side carves. Uh, the park flows for me. It's the part that I need to learn now. But I just wanted to update uh, that I will have some 
clips if any of my subscribers are interested in um, uh, learning from from someone who started from absolutely ground zero I mean riding free ride and long distance pushing and all that are great for learning but when you come to skate park uh, there's a different set of rules that you got to apply and so as I'm also wanting to encourage my brothers and sisters in Christ um, it it's amazing what you can accomplish when when uh, you give it to God because I went home kind of discouraged and uh, and for some reason just by seeing some people skate and constantly seeing the videos on on my Facebook I said okay I'll give it another shot but I, I need your help and when I came out again it was a slow process uh, I've gotten slammed pretty hard done some supermans in the park but at the right time, God sent my friend down here from Washington, kind of like uh, got 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 me back into the zone, and I can't thank him enough. Uh, he's also the uh, the he has a little company called Gator Skins. He was down here for uh, Clash at Claremont, um, and he's just an awesome uh, friend. And also uh, his his abilities and his knowledge of skate park. Uh, put me in into a new level so God brought the right person for me at the right time because uh, after the last set of bruised ribs that I had from hitting some glass I just I wasn't uh, I, I was I was skating kind of uh, bad yeah <laughs> I, I wasn't flowing I wasn't feeling the vibe I wasn't getting in the zone but but I was still having fun so I was still skating a little bit but after my friend gave me the tools I needed by God's grace, obviously, uh, things really picked up for me again. Uh, I love Paula. That place is awesome. Um, and now at Poway Before All, the, the scooter parade comes in. I think I counted like 15 scooters <laughs> yesterday. Um, but, I mean, they live here. They're going to be back in school. So uh, I'm a little sore today from uh, all, a bunch of skating I've done this week. So I just thought, why not? Why not just share a little clip? Uh, it was also a light drizzle, which kind of put me on pause to uh, just throw on um, my gear. Oh, one thing I want to, um, before I forget, I got this new product that my my friend Russ told me about. It's called, uh, oh, I can never remember names, um, Old Bones Therapy, something like that. Uh, it's basically um, helped me double my time here at the skate park as a support underneath my pads when I use pads and uh, so if you if, if you're if your knees are bugging on you um, I know Russ really liked them I tried them they're awesome and then the other thing I want to share that's was also been a huge blessing to me is um, yeah I'm slow to say this but I'm doing yoga now uh-huh because uh, I was I do a lot of sports I ride like 40 miles of BMX a week and I've just been having really problems with my, you know, my hamstrings just turning into knots and have waking up at night. Yeah, I know, more information that, than uh, anyone want, want to know. But there could be one other person that has problems with their hamstrings. And I'm just saying, it's like, now that I'm, I'm extending my hamstrings um, and my legs uh, with, you know, stretch moves, uh, yoga stretch moves, um, I'm able to, to skate all day long and... Uh, continue to stretch I'm learning to be patient it's worth it uh, because I get to I get to roll more and so you know I and it was one of those things again like Lord is is there anything like how can I fix this I've tried all these vitamins I I quit changed my diet to uh, no sugar and low carb to reduce the sugar in my body but I still wasn't just peeking at what I want how I wanted my body to fully um operate so again um by god's grace i was blessed with the solution to uh stretch oh and by the way um yeah i you know there's i'm an old school guy and i got a few tricks in the bag and um i mean i'll share more on another video but for now i think that's enough uh but just uh, thanks again to all my subscribers. Thanks for my friends on uh, Facebook as well. Uh, I appreciate all the comments. Um, my, my YouTube channel is just public. 
and I want to finish off this video by saying um, that uh, yes I I claim to be a preacher it's because I live in God's Word and I always have a moment to talk talk about the Lord to those that want to ask me but by no means is it a qualification to be my friend or to know me because you know I really don't have an agenda for people um, JesusRulesMinistry.com for those that uh, want to see Bible verses used in a, in, in a simplistic way I spent like four years and about 5,000 hours um, putting my collection of scriptures in an order that could be easily used. I don't want anything for it. I'm not selling anything. Um, I'm, I'm just living life, having a good time, rolling, um, making friends. And again, I will update uh, the, the club because I think I'm, I started the club with the hope of doing uh, uh, some distance races, but uh, it's like herding, you've heard it before, like herding cats to get everyone to come out at a certain time. So I'd rather just keep practicing for a skate cross track I want to um, be involved in and uh, with some skate cross racing. But that's a different story. Uh, it's not going to be like Clash at Claremont. It'll be more, uh, you know, open to, to, to uh, intermediate skaters and above instead of uh, advanced skaters. Okay, that's it. Michael, JesusRulesMinistry.com, just uh, sharing a few words. I know I've probably blown the clock up with uh, how much I've talked, but honestly, my purpose in all of this is just to encourage someone who uh, needs a little encouragement, whether you're a Christian or not. Um, but God is powerful in my life. Uh, I'm just so grateful that the Lord um, allows me to speak to Him and answers my prayers. And I know it's available for 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 anyone who who wants him in his life so anyway peace out um uh, can't wait to get my pads on get a little session in and till next time see ya